Good day, hi little kids, and welcome to our today's discussion. Before we go to our topic for today, let us have a recall first. Again, we are talking about sentence and non-sentence. And sentence has a complete thought. It starts with a capital or a big letter, and it ends with a punctuation mark. And for non-sentence, it doesn't have a complete thought or complete idea. Now let us try again. So the first one is big watermelon. So is this one a sentence or a non-sentence? Yes, you are right. This one is an example of a non-sentence because it doesn't have a complete thought. Next. It says, I have a pet dog. So is this one a sentence or a non-sentence? Yes, you are right. Again, this one is an example of a sentence because it has a complete thought. It starts with a capital letter and it ends with a punctuation mark. Next. It says, the cat. So for this example, it starts with a capital letter. So is this one a sentence or a non-sentence? Very good. This one is an example of a non-sentence because it doesn't have a complete thought. Next. Math is my favorite subject. Is this one a sentence or a non-sentence? Yes, you are right again. This one is an example of a sentence because again, it has a complete thought. It starts with a capital letter and it ends with a punctuation mark. And for this one, it is a period. Last example, beautiful flower. Is this one a sentence or a non-sentence? Very good. This one is an example of a non-sentence because it doesn't have a complete thought. Good job, guys. Okay, let us now go to our topic for today, which is all about is and are. Let us start our discussion with the word is. So we use is whenever we talk about one noun. And when we say one, we are going to use the word singular. Again, whenever we have a singular noun or a one noun, we are going to use the word is. For example, the girl is dancing gracefully. Now for this one, we only have one noun, which is the girl. So we are going to use the word is. Another one, the girl is eating. So again, we only have one noun, which is the girl. That is why we are going to use the verb is. Next, for the word are, it is used whenever we are talking about more than one noun. So when we say more than one, we are talking about plural. Again, whenever we have plural nouns or more than one noun, we are going to use the word are. For example, the girls are dancing gracefully. Now earlier, there is only one girl. So for this one, we now have one two, three. There are three girls and three is more than one. So we are going to use the word are. Next is the girls are eating. Again, we have one, two girls and two is more than one. So we are going to use the word are. Okay, now there are some points that, that you need to remember in this lesson or in this topic. First, a sentence has a complete thought or complete idea, and a non-sentence doesn't have a complete thought or complete idea. Next. Oops, 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 oops. Let me make this small. There you go. Okay, the word is is used whenever we are talking about one thing or singular noun, and we are going to use the word are whenever we are talking about more than one noun or plural nouns. Okay, that is the end of our discussion. Please answer your seat work and I will see you again tomorrow.